COP28 is currently happening in Dubai in the UAE and ESCOM is represented there, our government is represented there, our ministers are there and I'm wondering why. You know, we have a government in this country that are supposed to be able to have the capacity to make decisions uh, as representatives of the people, but in our system that doesn't work so well. So I want to ask you, what has uh, COP28, the World Economic Forum, the World Health Organization, the United Nations, what do they all have in common? And that is all of them want to tell you how to live your life, what to believe, how to believe it, um, how to do things. Uh, and uh, the main thing is that they are trying to force us down on your government. So they are influencing governments around the world. Now, governance in a country is something for the people, by the people. That's what it's supposed to be. But the moment uh, these international organizations are influencing countries around the world, they lose their sovereignty, especially when the politicians are too dumb to make up their own minds about things. And with regards to Eskom, this is certainly the case. They are playing so many different games and Gwede Mantashe said now at COP28 that shutting down Komati, which was a perfectly running station, was a huge disaster. We should have never done that. And he's obviously not famous for saying something like that. Now, I'm not supp supporting any specific person. Common sense needs to prevail and this is not the case at this stage. Uh, I want to tell these people, hashtag leave us alone. As people, we should make decisions for ourselves and we'll live with the consequences of that. Um, that is simply how the international community has worked. If a country does something, others aren't happy with, they can stop trade with them, they can put sanctions on them, and then we will see if we can survive and, and do our own thing. And uh, maybe this is what we need as a country, is to be able to produce our own goods and become fully self-reliant. This is what I advocate for, and I will continue to advocate for this. We should not be dependent on the rest of the world for our sustenance and for the materials we need to build a strong nation. Thanks so much. Please subscribe to this channel if you want the information that you will not see in the mainstream media and subscribe to this channel uh, so that you can share the information that we put out here unique information the saturday i will be doing a presentation on my time in intelligence from 2002 to 2010 and i will reveal many things that will make your head spin thanks see you then